Hey, this is Matt at Vespa Portland, and I'm going to show you how to put together a VersaHaul to mount to the hitch of your vehicle to carry your scooter without a trailer. So the tools that you're going to need to put this all together, either impact or a ratchet, and then you're going to need a 13 millimeter, 11 millimeter, and 14 millimeter pliers and maybe flathead screwdriver for getting the split pin on the uh, ramp mount. If you get the VersaHaul through us, the general one we sell is the VH55RO ramp option. So it comes in two boxes. The larger box is definitely the heavier one that has the rail for the bike and more of the components, the, the side rails. And then the other smaller box is the ramp and a few small components. And recommend gloves and a utility knife to cut um, to open it up. And you kind of go along the edges here on the bottom of it, but you want to be careful because there are some large cardboard staples in here. I do recommend gloves in this process to keep your hands kind of safe. You want to pull it and then you'll see where the staples are connected in here, the big brass ones that'll pop out when you're going along the way here. There are going to be staples on both sides of this. So, And once you get it to a point where you can actually get kind of the end flaps opened up, pull this away from the end of it and then should be able to lift one side up and just kind of remove it. You have the rail right here. Flip that over and it has this all mounted up to there. It has another box in here that has some of the hardware that you'll need to install. And it also more hardware in this box. Now you're gonna need to get your tools and sockets for undoing uh, the bracket that's holding the hitch mount on here. First thing you're gonna need is a 14 millimeter socket and you're gonna to have to remove all four of these bolts that are on this. Pulls that right up. Now you're gonna take these bolts out of the uh, washers that are in there. Don't need those again. Now you have your hitch mount and this is going to go in, as you see, this side up. This is currently upside down and the part facing me is actually the back where it says Versa Hall. This actually has a slight curvature to it to keep the bike tilted up, not going to go down. So you have to make sure this goes in the correct way. So this side up going in through the back here and just kind of slide it into there. So you want to have about, about four or five inches sticking out of that. And now you will take the bolts that you took out and you're going to reinstall them into... The bolts are only going to go in so far to where they make contact with it. As you can see, this is not moving one bit from here. But yeah, you just tighten it down to where it stops and it is now all four of them bolted to the hitch. Next, you have the box that's gonna say tie down kit box. Uh, this has the parts for the arms to be able to mount. If you do the sides of this, and if you try to go down the middle, you're actually gonna hit some staples with your blade. You can kind of see them through the box, but just kind of start it and then pull it apart. Now you have the arms that will go into the sides of the Versa Hall that actually are where your tie downs will go. You have two sets. They slide, they have uh, positions there and then the positions here. And you're going to put the larger side on the back on the back side of this that mounts towards the vehicle then you slide this one into that Let's just get this one started so it's ready to go so 
So next you have the box of all the rest of the hardware that is needed for doing this install. The parts that'll hold these on as well as the uh, chalk for the wheel that'll go on the other side of the ramp once you get it all together. And once again, careful with the staples there. Once you get in here, you have your uh, chalk. You have the uh, tilt lock. You got the rest of the hardware. Has an extra set of bolts in here, like these. Um, generally, just reuse the one that's, that you came with. And it also has the instructions. You already got this far, but if you open this box first, it has the instructions showing all of this stuff. In the kit, you're gonna find four of these bolts that are all going to be holding the arms into the first hall. Position it up here so pretty uh, even on both sides of it. And this is gonna be an 11 millimeter. You're going to put these in at the end here. It is going to bolt down against the arm. Again, they're not gonna go all the way in flush. They're just gonna go until they stop. Do the same on the other side over here. Get them started. And completely stable, not moving out. At this point, I uh, actually wanna to get to the other box because there's a part that needs to go in on this side before you flip it over to install the chalk. So again, be careful with the box. Watch out for staples. Now this box, you have your ramp, but you also have the ramp mount, which is what we need to install before we uh, flip this whole thing over. The ramp mount comes with its own set of hardware. So you have your ramp bracket, the ramp mount, and you want to make sure that this goes on the correct way. So you want to have it to where these parts are facing that direction on this. So slide it on here. Get it up to right around there. Now you also don't want to over tighten this part. This part is, if you tighten the bolts down too much, it is going to put some squeeze and some warp into this and it's not actually going to go into the slots in the ramp. Has another set of two 11 millimeter bolts that come in with the uh, linchpin mount. Um, if you're using like an impact or cordless, probably want to go down to a lower setting on it. And kind of just enough. This part you'll take and you will go slide over and sometimes a little hard to angle it, but you can actually kind of uh, redo it. You just can just hand tighten this until you do the flip of the ramp and the split pin will actually take care of after we do all the flipping over of this. And uh, before flipping it around, you'll take these uh, linch pins and I say you're just setting this up. You're not using it right away. You just want to put these in um, and have the arms inward. You don't really necessarily need to have to have them completely extended. You'll take your mostly put together vertical and flip it over. And now we will take the chalk. Usually you want to put it at the furthest setting. So teeth in here. Now you take the last bolt that you had from the initial package. It is a 13 millimeter and just kind of goes right here and right in to hold the chalk down. We're going to make sure that the ramp is all positioned correctly. You take the ramp and basically slide it on to the teeth here and onto the part down here and make sure that you have it pretty straight on. You might want to look down it, make sure everything is very parallel. Go back to your 11 millimeter and tighten. So once you do this, this split pin is going to have to be, you know, if you ever need to take this apart, you're going to need to put a new split pin. So. Make sure you get it where you want it the first time around. I generally try to put it where this part is inside so it's not outside exposed, sticking out. Kind of more aesthetic. 
but you'll just kind of split this, just kind of like open the split pin, and then you want to just bend, just want to keep it to where it's like this, but not actually covering the top of it. Because you have to have the top clear for the lunch pin to go through, or for the ramp to go through for the lunch pin to connect. It is secure up here and also secure over here. So the ramp is not going to go anywhere when you're driving along. This comes with a reflector kit. You can get an optional light kit that wires in with your car. And that would actually mount to the same area as this. But without the light kit, usually just get reflectors. Just kind of uh, position this on here. And do that on both sides. And there is pretty much one part left, but this one part does not necessarily mount to the kit. It is for use when you're actually mounting this onto your hitch. And that is the anti-tilt uh, bracket. So when you have your hitch on here, just imagine that you know the, the vehicle is now hooked up to it. And now you'll put this on to where you have the three bolts towards the actual hitch of the vehicle and then you will tighten these down sometimes you need to just use a ratchet to do it because of clearance and also the way that it kind of needs even distribution of them and these will all brace against the vehicle hitch and they will tighten down and keep this from tilting around while you're driving all right so say you have this all mounted up you're ready to load your bike take it on an adventure so generally, at least in the front, you're going to be using this and you will release your split pin, pull this out to where you now have another hole in there to secure this, replace this. We did a video a while ago showing you how to tie down a bike into a truck. Uh, pretty much the same process as here. You just now have these contact points where you put your tie down in here and you have your top of it going up to uh, Canyon Dancers or some other sort of way to secure it on your handlebars and just kind of mount it up to here. The, imagine if the bike is on here and you'll want to do this on both sides to have even uh, compression on the shocks. And on that note, if you also want to secure the back of it, like through the rack or through any sort of point on the back, make sure that you have a good solid part against the body not mounting it to something that can be bent or is uh, more flexible or not as stable to the frame. So generally with a VersaHull, front tie downs will hold the bike down, but for peace of mind, you also have the whole area in the back that you can do a tie down up on the back too and have it completely secured from all angles. So same process back here, take out the pin, put it in there. Now you have your arm extended out there and uh, mounted up to any sort of stable part of the frame. So that's how you put together the VersaHall VH55RO. It is a premium hitch mount for bikes. People say, oh, we can get like Harbor Freight or something like that. These personally are built way better, uh, especially some of the other ones that you find online that might be a lower price. They generally have more of an open system here with the rail. Scooter tires don't necessarily go into them as well. They're made for dirt bikes. Some of them have a very short ramp that's only about this long. And so getting the ramp on here, you're much more angled for pushing a scooter up. This ramp, you have a lot more distance. You have a lot more like easy angle to get, the, uh, to get it up there. They are also very high quality, uh, made in Indiana and very good product support from VersaHall. Anytime that we've had any issues with anything, which is very rare, VersaHall's right on it. We can contact them and they have stuff out in a day to uh, take care of the product. They stand by the product and we are one of the dealers for them and they have a wide list of other mounts that they make. If you are watching this and you say, I want to have one that has, I want to carry two scooters, they have those available. A lot of the same process, just kind of a little bit more measuring on it since you have two of these rails for scooters that are gonna have opposing arms since you can't really have both the arms out there. So those ones will be like 
one set of arms this way, one set of arms that way. So it evenly distributes the weight and the balance on there. Those are the ones that have more of an open platform if you have an MP3 or some other bigger bike. Um, there's a lot of different options that they make for these and we can get them. Generally, we just carry the VH55RO as the standard stock one that we do uh, very frequently. Thanks for watching. This was Matt at Vespa Portland. Uh, if you have any questions, stop on in the parts department and I can uh, go over all the details with you.